<laughs> well, yesterday I received from my colleagues this bit of fan mail. It's quite fun, isn't it? It's a bit of kitchen towel sent to me all the way from uh, Montgomery, Alabama. It's a letter that accompanied it. Doesn't look very much to send, but actually, it's a very, very clever idea because that's only the back of it. That's the back, but this is the front. This is wonderful. Produced by the New York Times, it's um, a recipe book. Very large, very long. It goes on and on. There's only four, two sheets there, but loads of recipes to look at. Very, very nice idea. And it occurs in this, well, you probably come across it if you in New York. In the New York Times, it's produced ex ex excerpts from a cookery book from New York. So a wonderful thing to get this. I'm very, very pleased with it. I won't be using it for mopping up uh, spills of coffee, but I might start looking at some of the recipes here and having a go at um, steak au poivre recipe, for instance. Should I start with that? Well, there's one at the bottom here, which unfortunately has been cut off at the bottom, which is Frog's Legs Provencal, where you start with 12 large pairs or 24 small pairs of frog's legs and a cup of milk. So I might have a go at that bottom one there, but a great thing to have. And thanks, a big, big thanks to Tano Guttenstein, who sent this to us. And I'm going to have a lot of fun looking at that and showing it to people over the period. So that's the first one. The second one I received, something I'd seen at Nuremberg, which is, I'm very keen on this. It's um, out of the blue. It's a wonderful invention, this. It's, um, it's one of those half mugs, the usual thing, but it's got what looks like a TV screen on the front. I immediately recognised it to be what it is, which is um, thermochromic ink. So all you've got to do is pour some hot water in it, and it sort of warms the TV up. Let's have a go, shall we? I've got some kettle on the boil here. This is boiling water going into it, and see what happens. It's magical when you haven't seen this effect of thermochromic ink before. The television is now going to warm up. Let's see. Okay. It won't take very long. And now I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Oh, yes, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh dear. The only program tonight is false news. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> if you want to go the other way, you have to um, tilt out the water, put in cold water onto the tap, and it slowly goes back again to an all black screen. But that's a great little thing to have, and something that we might even think of having for the shop, I think. So, something to, uh, to debate. And so, the last item is again something I've seen. Um, I saw it about four years ago, I think, originally. It's a, it's a bottle. It's a wine bottle. I've got some wine there, which I haven't poured from this bottle. But anyway, of course, it's not a bottle. It's something else. What is it? It's one of those wonderful things that you just stand back for, and I'll have a go. Oops, Daisy. There we go. Take it off. Oops, Daisy. Open it up. Give it a little shake. Oh, my. And I click it. Can we get it in the camera? Look at that. And it's the right colour for red wine, isn't it? Well, it feels uh, it's time to celebrate then. So I'm going to be, um, cheers. Um, a few more sips, I'll be singing in the rain. <laughs> and you? <laughs>